Hello everyone, my name's Jay Beetle, and today I'm going to play a game called Pyre. It's sort of a futuristic, well maybe not even futuristic, it's sort of a sport game with a campaign. Um, it's by the same people that made Bastion and Transistor, which is why I wanted to play it. I don't know anything other than that. I hope it's not too sporty, because I like the stories that they tell. Anyway, let's start the campaign. I gotta say, I already heard some of the music. It is so super giant games. Just like what they would say. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now, as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. Ooh, you actually see what things are. See? I love the lore. So the downside is a vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. So it's essentially an exile area. A masked woman says, hmm, another piece of filth expelled from the commonwealth. Commonwealth being a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire. So very post-apocalyptic. Masked something. See, right on schedule, what I tell you. You told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone alive someday. It's not today, I guess, but don't be glum. You know, I see you frowning underneath that mask. Masked man says, looks like she's breathing. Interact to change this? Looks like he's... Oh, okay. Ah, very 2017. I'll just go with... Uh, I'll go with he. I mean, I am a he. Seems he still is. Stand aside, I shall send him to a better place. He's a he? Can you people just tell? Hang on. The markings on his rags. I think he's one of them. But look at him. He's beyond our help, and we are beyond his. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with the, that there chum. See you back at the wagon. Indeed. The day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood. I won't be long. The other leaves, the man turns towards you and begins unfastening his mask. Oh, you look way different than I thought you would. Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did, none of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You are parched, he gives you drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There, turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. He is one of the three masks. Oh, I can't click to change. Okay, Hedwin. Hedwin is one of three masked wanderers who found clinging to life. So, he's got to be a good guy, right? You sense no in ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old back wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. Hedwin back beckons you to enter the black wagon. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature talking, taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with a guest, she loosens the clasps on her mask. Oh, you look demonic. Oh, you are demonic. You have horns. You may call me... Jodariel. Jodariel. She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Definitely. And as for myself, I am Mushu. Small one struggles with his mask. Jadariel seen soon assists him. Yeah, I already know who she is. Ow! You're a dog with a mustache! That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Rookie Greentail. Such pleasant pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can you do it? I hope so. I haven't asked him yet. 
What? What are we waiting for? Hey, chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? Um, cool. Over time, you managed to learn something. Deny it. Literacy is a serious crime. No one in his right mind would dare violate the law of land and remain silent. So I'm going to admit it because this is the Commonwealth Decree. I've already been cast out. Confirm their suspicions. There is no use trying to hide it. Well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone like you. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. So I'll indicate the books in their possession. Sure, I'll have a look. You saved my life. Ooh, all this stuff. Finally, even if you could run, you would not get far. Yeah, well... Closed door, the black wagon's common room must be back there. And then, if, oh, it actually moves around. Neat. Does it with the. Nope, that's that's nothing. Colorful robes. I love it. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. Yeah, see, I'm fine with it being a sports game dressed up as a point and click. I like the detail. Details very important. <clears throat> a formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote the Book of Rights. That you possess it and have capacity to clean its words is a testament enough to your potential. Thus, we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, homecoming, and glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. It's kind of hard to read. Uh, ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight, as a line is shown. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Ooh, and I like it. So these tiny details, like it's a slight, slight trail just through the, just through the letters. Really, really cool. Okay, let's inspect. Oh, I could have read it the right way. Okay, what's this got? What's this? Got? Okay, that's it. There you go, buds. Book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. Why would you? Well, I guess you would want to for security, but. Doesn't seem like a great place. The words swim through your mind as headwind gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. Mwah. Oh. Freedom! Dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile, tis true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself, but someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights the one way to return to glory. Though in your case... Wait, I'm literally on a book? Possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it, it is my duty so it is true. to inform yeah, but, you anyhow. But now, where'd the reader go? He should be out there still. For now, we have to put our faith in him. He could abandon us. He won't. You look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die on the downside. And now I swear to you, when you get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Oh no, it's going to be one of those situations where you free everyone but yourself. I know how Supergiant works. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Edwin asks. Okay, cool. The game finally starts. Let's 
celestial orb falls from the heavens it when is the sporty. time is nigh. Exiles conduct Hold space the to pass I already did that. Only one exile can move at a time. Not just in themselves. Holy crap, this is complicated. Your exile's abilities are shown here. Okay, so then I can pass it. He can he can run. Oh, he can only run in one direction? Why? Why is it? He's just running. Oh, that's okay. That makes more sense. So I gotta turn him. Oh no, that doesn't quite make sense. What are you doing? Maybe if I turn him this way and then pass it, and then pass it back, he'll run. Nope, that's not right. I don't understand. How do I switch? Oh, okay. Takes a little bit. Yes, the exiled Drodariel has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rites, hmm. you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware okay. yours. The aura is so his aura is bigger than mine, so I can't go up against him. Accept it right? As a part of you. Oh, that's cool. Cast your aura like a stone. Okay, banish the remaining out. Correctly done. Again. And we get it back. Again. Just so. Let's banish by Aura's exiles return soon. Okay, well that's just like a respawn timer. I got it. More than I expected from the likes of you. Grasp the orb once more. Okay. The orb absorbs. I'm gonna the walk into it and die, right? And the orb quenches the flame. Huh. Now I say jump. Cool. Leap with all your strength. Cool, 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 cool. The There's so many buttons. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre. Whilst yours yet burns. I got it. I'm moving around fast. <laughs> wait, 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 wait for it. Wait. You're not gonna get me. That's gonna. All right, that guy's really good. I can outrun them all. Remember everything. Yeah. You hold, yeah. Oh, I got you both. Now take it. Try jumping with W. I already did that three times. I've done that. An opportunity. Shit. Why that was all of them. Alright, alright. Banishment. Got it. Pass. Here we go. Oh, I didn't know I could actually throw it. Whee. Holy crap, he's fast. Distinguish the adversary's pyre. I did it. Pretty fun. The right is complete. There, dear reader. 
now you understand. Yeah, I get it. I'm not, I'm not really... Or do you? This was but a glimpse of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. Yell now, but all During the rights, only one exile on each side is permitted to move any given time. The three must act listen. as one. Yeah, I know. I get that. The others are still picking themselves up as you awaken. Well, that was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars, or what? Supposedly. Reader, come. Let us regard the night. Regard the night. Jidori will lead you outside where a clear night sky waits. Now, show us before the howlers catch our scent. Where shall the rites commence? Am I actually gonna move? That'd be cool. Alright. Alright, this is all cool. Direct to determine the location of the next right. So, I can't pick anything but that one, I think. I think that might be my only choice. Cool. Alright, hmm, 200 leagues due east, the ridge of gold. Oh, I didn't actually see what that was. Whoops. Very soon, according to the stars, you should be able to arrive in time if you make haste. Then we'd better get started. Well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Jody. She's the most. Yeah, I know that already. Jody turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, chum. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are the key. There's a lot to take in. Well, join them or don't do anything. Here we go. Oh, okay. Very cool transition. You're having Downside Prairie. Only one of Downside's only verdant areas. Okay, where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consens consens consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you we ought to go to north to Hollow Root. Okay. Okay, he has some someone here to be Phi on your associate. This we had to Blooming Pool, Hot Springs. Okay. Hot. To avoid attention. This is when listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? He marks the way we get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we best learn to trust the reader's instincts. Makes sense. If necessary. Okay, so I want to follow Rookie. I already decided. I want to follow Rookie because he uh, he has somewhere he's so, he has someone to meet there. Very cool. As you pass through the squalid little area, you hear boisterous voices coming from what looks to be a public house. Rookie stumbles forth from it, holding something in his paws. Oh, uh, hey, Jum. Just wrapping up a real important exchange back there. Hang on to this for me, will ya? I'll have to drop it off. Oh, now you're giving me drugs. Not tell what's inside. <laughs> Journey onward. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have gone that way. I ended up where. Oh, it's like a. Okay, never mind. We we're going this way anyway. I love the animation of that thing. It's so bouncy. The black wagon grinds to a stop at the base of the ridge of Gull. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gull Goliath. Galathnian. Ugh. Serpent Titan. Great. The others ask you to assist. Okay. Commence the right. Um. Sure, I'll, I'll interact. I didn't. I thought this was a house. I didn't realize it was a wagon. Really cool wagon, though. Hey Chum, I appreciate you taking us to Hollywood back there. About that, are you certain that parcel will fetch us an adequate price at the slug market? 
Uh, much as I love the idea of procuring rare fungus there, Jody, we said we wouldn't go around second-guessing our good chum's decisions, right? Jody says nothing. Night falls soon. C come on, Greentail. Have much left to prepare. The two of them soon go about rummaging through the raments, raments and the books strewn about the wagon, leaving you to your own devices. Okay. Well, I think it's kind of telling me. Ooh, a roster. We can get more people. Whoa. And there's levels, it looks like. And masteries. And God, this is way... Way more intense than I thought. And then we, of course, have this... Um, what did I just do? So I don't think I can actually equip this parcel. Okay, get out of here. I guess I hit the book. Continue your journey during no more pages. Well, no, I... You know, perhaps the thrice-cursed name of Solium Mur, the Emperor of Sire, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life, such was the hatred for him in and around his country. Yet, we found in Solium Mur a man transformed in body, mind, and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In time, he named us all his scribes, and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honor now to share you with his deeds. Okay, well, I can't talk about it. I'm going to share them to you, but not right now. Okay, so I can't... I thought I was battling in that, but I guess that might not be it. There's no blackness of a young rookie with his mother and uncle. I can't click it. So, I guess I have to... Oops. I guess I have to go out. Because there's nothing else I can do. Oh, hey, buddy. Drive him. Creatures such as this push the bat. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's get back out. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, I literally clicked that. As darkness falls, your fellow exiles stand together, clad in their raiments. However, everything is still and calm. Soon, they grow restless. I keep telling you there's nothing there. What a bunch of idiots we are. If we traveled all this way for nothing... I don't think we did. Look up. Ooh, what's happening? Ooh, okay. Ball in the sky. Cool. The goal of each rite is to extinguish the adversary's pyre using the celestial orbs. Yeah, I get that. Rita, the stars align at last. This reminds me. The ridge of Gaul at the appointed time, and your triumvirate is ready. This reminds me of Moon Hunters Your for some reason. In the rights this eve shall be the accusers. Whosever cool. fire yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer okay. to freedom. Ooh, now this is let the rights commence. Stars are aligned and your pyre burns bright. Across from your companions appear several others. Everyone's ready, let's hope so. Be still, we have a visitor. The one whom she refers to steps forward. At last, the Night Wings grace us with their presence. Night Wings, the name of Triumvirate in blue. It seems your fellow exiles have assumed their identity. I see that the reports of their, your demise have been exaggerated after all. Even I was beginning to think you were gone for good. Nobody moves, save for the man robed in gold who unfastens his mask. Surprised to see old Lendl again? He's apparently the leader of... The exile triumvirate. I trust you remember my face, though you must have assumed never to see it again. Never had I come so close to freedom, only for you to dash my hopes. Now, I and the accuser shall repay that affront. Clad in gold, their leader harbors ill will for something he thinks you did. He shoves his mask back on. It's time. From the shadows, you clutch the Book of Rights and focus on the task at hand. So, they're not in the book this time. I guess that was just the tutorial. They're literally on, at night. It's literally at night under a constellation. Oh, look at that! Whew. 
begin. Beware the adversary's order. Oh, why? Why don't? What are you guys doing? Yes. Have the accusers <laughs> underestimated Get out of you? You do that. Shoot, I didn't know it worked like that. Got him. God, that's so fast. I, holding down shift. No, I shall not accept defeat from you again. Hear me, accuser. Stand your ground. So they're just going to stand still? Oh, I got to do the jump thing. We're getting there. They hunkered down. Fine, then we shall disrupt their formation. Yeah, all I got to do is... Bring the orb into the pirate. I don't think I need to do that, though. Alright, maybe if I just do this and then... That didn't work. Ah, uh, that didn't work. <laughs> It actually hit it. All right, all right. Oh, that's not how it works. I keep forgetting. Walking it in. So it's still a lot, still a lot to go here. Just gotta get in there. Oh god, that didn't work. <laughs> Throw it to myself. Poor Lendl. <laughs> oh, I, I, I hit the wrong button. A mere attempt. No! There we go. I'm wondering if different types of attacks do more. How utterly brazen. Here I go. Now, oh! Damn it. That shouldn't have happened. That really shouldn't have happened. Alright, I'm just gonna wait him out. Damn it. The orb is loose. Ah, uh, no. God. This should have ended a long time ago, too. Caught out. Should have just ran it right in. Night wings. And it is done. Wow. You have That's not very nice. Rejoice then in your your deceit may have earned you a hollow victory, victory, but know this. The accusers will not forget your wickedness. And when next we meet, you will rue the day. Alright. Hmm. We have withstood worse nights than this. The few is strange. You choose a mastery for Jody. So after using her rush to lunge forward, Jody can rush again right away. Ooh, I like that. Or after banishing an adversary, Jody instantly recovers all of her stamina. Additional ten to an adversary's power when leading, when landing from a jump. Dario briefly stuns nearby adversaries. I like that one. Currently gains four presence, raising the size of her. I like that too. I gains thirty-five. 
And then, I don't know if I can choose both, so I'm just kind of looking at them. Any item or series banished by Jody take 30% longer than usual. I like that a lot. You can banish average by flinging the orb into them. Oh, I like that way more. All right. I kind of like the rush anyway, so that's pretty cool. You're a cur. Swift dog by creature. Cool. After the rites, the accusers disappear into the darkness. As you return to the wagon in still night, sky, you see a single star burns brighter than the rest, beckoning you onward. We're like the three wise men. During the rites, hold right to fling the orb. The longer you charge, the more pyre damage you do. Ah, there it is. So just running it straight in isn't necessarily the best. Well, my friends, what can I say? The rights are real, and we're in. The getting out of here club. Next up on the agenda, keep chasing stars until we're free. Until we're free. Until we're free. Here, here, sounds fine. Might as well be us instead of Lindell back there. Anyway, guess we better start packing. As the others go about their business, Hedwin turns to you. Reader, come walk with me while the stars are still out. You and Hedwin walk in silence for a time before he speaks up. You have questions. Come ask away. We need you in on this for the long haul. Hedwin wishes to know if anything is troubling you. Um. So we got this. That's why you cannot conduct the race yourself. Ask why he was ex exiled. You ask Hedwin what he did to get sentenced to living in the downside. He maintains eye contact and his smile. Good question, my friend. We're going to have a lot of time to discuss, discuss that and many other things. Make you deal. Read the stars for us again and I'll tell you all about it on the way. You sense he speaks truly as he beckons toward the fading dark above. Cool. Well, again, I don't know if I have another choice other than that specific one. I don't see another one. There's a ton of them, though. Okay, well, I guess we're going here. Oh, that's my current. This is where I need to go. Never mind. It looks like a scorpion on a coconut. Or a coconut on a scorpion. It's a long way north and west. We'll see if this old wagon's fit for it. Then he turns to the others. How's it going, Rookie? Imps fed. Wheels clean. Status, Jody? No sign of howlers. Everything's secure. Good. We'll get some rest. We're headed to the spring of Jameer. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon... Well, uh, oh, obviously. Sweet. Okay, so I think that means I saved. So I'm going to call that episode here. It looks like a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It works, but I'm not sure why. Thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Pyre.